what's up all my LB besties. I hope you guys are having a great weekend. So here's my filming spot for today. Okay, and then I'm also filming with my phone. Guess what today's problem is, you guys? Guess what today's problem is? Today's problem would be the tripod for my camera. It literally like went just like down, down, down it went. Like literally we were setting it up like and down it went. So I have no tripod until I go get another one. So I am filming from my phone inside my ring light without the ring light on. Yeah, so that's how, um, that's just how we, I do things. You know, I just improvise and just move on and just go on with it because, you know, I need to do some videos and it seems to be a problem always here lately. Do y'all hear a saw? I hear a saw. Okay, it's like 11 o'clock at night and I don't know why I hear a saw going outside. That's a little bit concerning, but I'm just going to leave that alone right now and um, just hope that my son is like sawing something important. I don't know because he's the one out there. Okay, my husband's actually working on our game room which by working on it, I mean he is decorating it. And I know it's late at night, but yeah, sometimes we do things late at night because that's when we have time. So I decided to take advantage of while he was working on that, me coming and doing a video, okay? For all of my new subscribers, thank you and welcome to my channel. And for all the ones that's still hanging in, thank you for hanging in there. I'm excited to have every one of you a part of my channel and each and every one of you are so important in helping it grow. So thank you all so very much. My name is Candy. My channel name is Candy Sweet Love for LV. If you didn't already know that when you clicked on this video. But moving on from that, I just want to say today's video, I'm going to do a review over the marshmallow in the sunset khaki. And then I'm going to compare it to, let me put the strap down so it don't look as um, larger because it's really not that much larger. Then I'm gonna compare it to the Belongne, Belongne, Belongne. The bag that I call the baloney bag. Okay, I'm gonna compare it to that bag today. I'm going to show you guys um, what fits inside of both because they both have that crescent moon shape and I was going to Bring the loop bag over and do it also because even more of a dip right through here But I decided three might be a little much as much as I talk So I said, you know what we, we just won't we'll just do these two and I wanted to do a full review over the marshmallow bag anyways, so first let's get started with the marshmallow bag in the sunset khaki and this bag just came out just here recently and it was part of the spring in the city collection which I think is absolutely beautiful and whenever I purchased this bag I didn't really care if I got the I don't know what the other color is but you guys have probably seen it it's the pink and the purple um, I should have looked it up, but anyways, I can't now because my phone's facing me. Okay, hey phone. But anyways, um, I want to say it's pastel colors of pink and purple, but it's a little bit darker, if you ask me, in the pictures that is now. In person, it may not be. But anyways, this one is the Sunset Khaki, and I think it's just an absolute beautiful bag. Um, so I'm okay. Okay, real quick, I'm used to holding things up to my camera for it to focus. So I'm really not real sure how um, it works with the phone because I haven't videoed from the phone in a long time. You guys, like I think I did like three or four videos and I was like, oh dear God, like we've got to move on from the phone. I don't even know if there's a such thing as it focusing, but I will just kind of hold it up closer to the phone. And then that way you guys can see the beautiful colors of the Sunset Khaki Marshmallow. Okay, it's the sage green that fades into khaki and then like white, okay? So that's how it is on both sides. 
and it's so very beautiful and I'm really honestly glad that I chose this color. Oh, back to what I was saying about that. So when I was looking this bag up, I knew I wanted the marshmallow bag because I had missed it the last time they came out with the Buy the Pool collection. I missed it getting it then and I, my friend told me that it was a really good bag. So I wanted to get it, but I didn't really care which color. So I went with just whatever was in stock. And this was the one that was in stock at the time that I was buying it. So this is the one that I went with. So, but I'm very happy because like, I don't have anything in this color scheme I, at all. It's very beautiful and it's got the oversized monogram, as you can see, um, prints on it. I do like that this is like a peach color because it almost kind of looks pink, you know? And then it goes back up into here and it's beige. And I'm glad that the symbols were beige versus white because of the bag being white. So that's really pretty. So let me do, I know I have done it before, but I'll do a 360 with it just to show you guys once more what it looks like. And I love the bottom of the bag because it's the small, the LV symbols. I love that. I think that's so cute to have the small on the bottom and the large on the on the front and the back of the bag. So yeah, so that's a 360 of it. The outside, by the way, is a like monogram coated canvas, okay? So this is an actual canvas bag. I love canvas bags. I, those are just my favorite bags in general. And the handle is really pretty because it's the same. It's like, the, it's the sage green that goes into the beige and then the white on both sides. Like I'm not gonna flip it because I don't wanna like get creases on it, but it's the same way underneath. And then it's also just got the um, beautiful gold hardware. And then the inside of it is called printed Sari lining. So yeah, it doesn't really feel as smooth as the textile lining. So I guess it's just some t a different type of lining. But it's so beautiful because it's got the Louis Vuitton symbols, as you can see, on the inside. And then again, just the gold hardware just really sets this bag off. And it's so, so beautiful. And then the strap is also the exact same color. It's the green, sage green, that goes into the beige, it goes into the white, okay, you guys? And so the strap is obviously removable and then it's adjustable, which I love that. If I could say one thing about Louis Vuitton, is I love that they do that. They have adjustable and removable straps almost all of their bags now. And that is a major help because we are all different heights and all different sizes. Now, the top handle is not either one, but you can turn it down. I like how you can, it easily just turns down. Like that's so good. So when you're wearing it crossbody, if you wanna put that by your side, you can, or if you want it on the outside, you can wear it either way. I love that they made it very easy to lay down because, um, or should I say lie down? <laughs> okay, well, I'm not. Um, I'm gonna say what comes, what sounds right to me, but I'm, I'm very glad that they made it that way because the ones that are really hard and stiff, um, okay, so the one, the top, ha the handles that are like, they stand just like straight up and they're hard to move, right? That drives me insane. Okay, so I'm so happy that that is like that. And so this bag, let's get the measurements on her, okay? I wrote them down. Nine by four inches in length. It's eight by seven inches in height and 5.1 inches in width. So that is the size of the marshmallow in sunset khaki. Such a beautiful bag for the spring, for the summer, for any time of the year, because I'm really not one that just has to carry a bag at a certain time of the year, except for I do carry my um, Dommy or Zur bags more in the summertime because I don't know, they just kind of go with more of the, of the clothing and especially since it's easy to transfer color onto them, which may be the case for this bag as well, but I do seem to carry the um, Dommy or Zur bags more in the summer. Other than that, y'all, I just carry whatever. Like right now, I'm carrying my Neon No Way in the pink. And if you guys watched my last one over um, the over this bag, the Clapton bag. Do you guys remember me telling y'all and going on and on about the strap being pink? Y'all remember that? Okay, well, um, I'm a little bit on the cray cray side and forgot that I do have a strap in that color magnolia pink but this strap is different it doesn't adjust the way that that strap does it 
I mean, it's fine because I don't wear this bad crossbody strap. Just it only adjusts one way and it adjusts like this. I know you guys know, most of you guys probably know, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways real quick. So it only adjusts once. Come on here, come on now. Okay, so I did have a pink strap. Okay, and it would probably be just fine to put on like my cousin bag and wear it crossbody, but I do like the strap that comes with the Magnolia bag a little bit better because it has the many ways to adjust it, okay? So, but bottom line, this is the bag that I'm carrying right now. I love it with the pink detailing, and I bought this braided strap myself off of Amazon, and they, it, they match the bags really well. I have one for my bag with the caramel, leather and it matched it like perfectly so a very good strap to buy because i love just to grab this bag like this and go and then put it on my shoulder later on but we won't do a review over this bag right now because that's not when my video is over but i just wanted to show you guys actually i'm gonna leave it right here because i'm gonna show you what fits inside here i just wanted to show you guys what bag i'm carrying right now and um yeah and show y'all that i'm not just sit on like like just my doll mirrors or bags for the spring or just this one for the spring because it came out like I carry all bags. I'll carry this one in the winter. I just don't go by that rule, okay? I'm just kidding. If you guys have to go by those rules, it is, it's all cool. Like Y'all go by them. I'm totally just messing with y'all. So let's real quick see what fits inside of this beauty. I need to get an organizer for her, but I've just been so busy, you guys. I have been extremely busy. Y'all know that. Okay, so I'm just throwing things in without even showing you guys. Mini pochette in the Dalmier e bean in mini pochette in the monogram that carries all my little necessities. In it goes. I definitely need to get a, an organizer for the for this bag before I carry it though because I'm kind of scared with the lining because it's very light color. I don't. I think it would be very hard to get anything out of it if you got something on it. So I'm gonna be very careful right now. Um, oh, big surprise, um, still the same wallet. Okay, so wallet's going in here. My, I have a little calendar. I decided to buy this because um, you guys like, with my daughter's, daughter's cheer competitions coming up, her cheer practices, school, cheer coming up, cheer camps, summer vacations, I can't keep up with it all. I am not good with putting things in my phone, like in my notes and stuff, so I bought a little calendar. It was eight bucks. It should have been like one dollar, but that's okay. I went into Office Depot instead of um, the dollar store, so eight bucks it was, but we're gonna throw her in, okay? Throw her in there. My shades going in also. Now, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, just a little um, thing that holds like my nail clippers, fingernail file, that sort of thing for an emergency. Oh, these things. Oh, oh gosh, these nails are an emergency of, of their own. Y'all, <laughs> I haven't even been back to get them done because I'm like, you know what? Who has time for that right now? Not me, but they look awful. They're, I, just keep, I just keep cutting them. I just keep cutting them. I don't care. They're like halfway painted. Y'all, I don't care. I really don't. Like, one day, I will get back to the nails. I will get back to them. But who would care anyways when you're steadily still hanging up things and, and they're getting chipped? And, yeah, no. Mm -mm. All right. I'm not going to play that game. Okay, so I've been carrying around my Meclizine because of the old dizziness that I've had with my inner ear. I think I probably have talked on that some, but if I haven't, I have an inner ear issue, which is which causes positional vertigo, and I get it a lot during the fall and spring months because my allergies act up, and then I get fluid on my ears, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? This helps it take it away, so I've been keeping that on hand just in case because if I don't have that, you guys, I, mm, 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 just take me to the hospital because I can't see. And I don't like that. It, I do not like that feeling. So, I, and I have an extra just hair tie. And then, let's see what else. An extra chapstick and an extra hand sanitizer that I'm not going to throw off in this bag. Could I fit them? Absolutely. But I have them standing straight up inside the little pocket inside the neon away. Y'all know, know that pocket. 
So, but no, obviously you're gonna be able to see that I could have got them in very well. So let me show you guys everything that fit in this bag. I'm gonna take these shades out so that you can see and then I'll put them back in, okay. But how easily everything fits in this bag. Like, this is really like the perfect size bag, if you ask me, the perfect size. Because you can still get your shades in. Of course, I would show you guys my phone going in there, but my phone, again, is looking at me, but know that it could easily slide down inside this bag. And I don't think I showed you guys, there is also a pocket right here, okay? So you could put a card holder or a key clay or anything you want in this pocket and it fits just fine. But yeah, anybody's phone could fit in there no matter what size it is and a few more other things if you want. So this bag holds a lot and this is a one zip bag. So one zip, that's it. One zip, and she's ready to be on her way. Ew, ew, I just realized, okay, that was one. She's cute and ready to be on her way to wherever you want to take her. She's a beautiful, beautiful bag. So now let's move on to the Belongne. Belongne, uh, y'all, somebody, somebody like spell it out as, as if you would pronounce it, okay, please. Did y'all do that for me? So that I don't call it some kind of crazy word because she doesn't deserve that. No, she does not. But let's go over her. So we're going to just turn because you know I'm, I'm, I'm working with little here. Little desk, little everything here, okay? Let's just turn Marshmallow on over here to the side. Okay, don't you fall Marshmallow. Okay, so this is my beautiful Belongne bag and this, as you can see okay so i've got her decorated i didn't take it off because why this is the way i carry her but we can move this over and i can show you guys what she looks like from the front which is also how she looks like from the back so i don't know why i did that but anyway she is just the monogram print canvas and then she's got the black leather detail which is like a little tab right here she's got the four corners that are black leather and right here says Louis Vuitton Paris on this one. So I'll do a 360 with her real quick like. Here's the bottom of her. She is a great bag as well. So she also comes with a removable and adjustable leather strap. Her strap adjusts like the Neon Noe strap adjusts, but that's okay because if I don't want to use this strap, I have other black straps I can use that adjust differently. And then I also have the canvas straps that I could use if I wanted it a little bit longer of a length. So this is her. So she has got the beautiful gold hardware as well. And she is just so stunning of a bag. And again, I love this dip right here. And that, now that I'm looking at it, I don't really know how I feel about this, this strand of fake pearls. Like, I don't know. Like, I have these on, like, my speedies and stuff, but I'm not sure that I like that. Let's take her off. Okay, I'm glad I did because I don't really care for it. Like, it's okay, I guess. It's not that I didn't like it, but I think it just needs to be on, like, a um, shorter, like, a smaller bag. Yeah. So, we'll leave the little tassel that I have hanging here. And then, of course, she came with this gold chain right there. So we will leave her too. She has a double zip zipper. So I always just bring the zippers right to the middle because it bugs me if I don't. I don't know why, but it just bugs me. But anyway, so she opens up to a beautiful black textile lining. You can see, probably cannot, because I cannot see sitting here. So she has a pocket on the inside. You can see the little, her little tag in there, that little tag. Okay, and then, um, yeah, so then she's just got a large pocket or large compartment, whatever you wanna call it. But let me give you guys real quick her measurements, okay? It's like I am um, teaching a class. Let me give you guys her measurements, okay? So she is 11.4 inches in length, 6.3 inches in height, and 3.7 inches in width. And she definitely does not look 11 inches long. She doesn't. That's what she says according to the Louis Vuitton website. And that's what we're going with. So, that's about all I can really say as far as the details go with her, other than she's got that same like, little crescent moon-shaped style of a bag. But let's see what I can get in here versus what I could get in there. Because even though like this bag shows to be a little bit longer, they're not too far in just, well, I, or I'll show you guys, they're not too far off in size okay so this is 
both the bags. Let's see. This is both the bags, um, side by side. The marshmallow bag's a little bit taller, and let's put them like this. The marshmallow bag is a little bit wider, so, and then this one is a little bit shorter, and this one's, this one's a little bit longer. So, yeah, they're not too far off in inch-wise, inch okay? Let me move my little thing over there. So, we're just gonna transfer everything from the marshmallow bag to the bologna, okay? All right, so I hope you guys can see both these bags because I'm not seeing them. Let me tilt my camera down just a sec. And back now, y'all can see the bags a little bit better. Sorry about that. Um, I should have paid attention to that a little bit earlier. But um, yeah, we're okay. So again, we're gonna move on because it's the story of my life right now. It's just all crazy. I'm surprised you guys hang in there. I really am. Let's pull the stuff out of here and transfer it over to this beauty. All right. And I've carried the heck out of this bag, you guys. Like, I've carried her so much. All right, so the first thing is my mini bichette because it goes everywhere I go. The pocket in this bag always tends to want to fall forward, always. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it back and stick that in there. Now, the Domier of Bean um, mini bichette is going in as well. And then we have the wallet. Of course, it's got to go. It's got to go. So we got that. The next thing that I like to carry is my nail clipper things, especially right now, especially right now. I'm always clipping and always filing. So I'm just gonna kind of lay that in there. And then my calendar that I'm going to need, probably the rest of 22 and the year 20, 2023 also, put that in there. The other thing is my Meclizine. I need the. Y'all need to probably go get some. Y'all, <laughs> okay. This expired in April of 20. It's okay, it still works, but I probably will go get some more. Okay, all right. <laughs> oh, good lordy. All right, <laughs> hair tie. Hair tie, shades, where are you shades? Before I put the shades in, um, I wanna show you guys, because the shades cover things up. That's why I'm not showing y'all with the shades. But just know the foam could very easily fit in this bag as well. Now, she is a little more stuffed to the top, okay? Because she's not as tall as Marshmallow. So, she's definitely more stuffed to the top. But I could still get my foam in because it could just slide right in that pocket. And then I could still get my shades in here and zip it up just fine. I'll show you guys it, it zipped up. Okay, so I don't know, maybe I would not carry my shades. It does hold everything, but you can kind of see it bulging out right here, and I don't like to do that to my bags. I don't. I don't like that look. It drives me crazy. So, one or two things, I could probably take some stuff out of my mini pochettes and just set them down in there, and then my shades would fit, or I could remove my shades because they usually stay on my head um, no matter what anyways, and... They're just one of those things it's good to have if you just want to be able to put them in your bag because I literally always have them on my face or on my head, okay? And sometimes if, if I need to, I'll put them like right here on my shirt. So I don't have to have my shades in my bag. So taking those shades out really helped it a lot. I mean, of course you can kind of see some of my stuff in there and it's a very soft feeling bag as well. Everything fits in here very well and compact. Nothing is making the bag stretch or nothing is making it look odd so this is a great bag to have as well as this bag and like i said you guys i have carried her a lot i love this bag it is an everyday bag both of these bags are an everyday crossbody or shoulder bag both of them are depending on what you're wearing or where you're going or what you're doing depend on maybe which bag you would want to carry because this is a carefree bag a hundred percent carefree bag due to the fact that it's got the black leather and mixed with the monogram canvas which is my favorite i love black leather with monogram canvas. I think it's so elegant looking and so nice. And it's not that I don't like the Vachetta, but it's less maintenance. So I love, love, love the black up against the monogram canvas. And I just think this is a, a wonderful, amazing bag. So this, you guys, is the Belongay and this is the Marshmallow. And 
Again, like I said, you could get a little more in here versus this bag, but for me, I can get everything I need and more. Like if I wanted to put some lipsticks or my phone, my phone will easily fit in here, or some chapstick, some more sanitizers, like that else that I would need to carry and, and literally just need to carry, I can definitely get in this bag. So I am happy with both bags and I highly recommend both of them if you guys are on the fence i don't have anything bad or negative to say about either bag honestly and they do still sell this on the website i do see it in stock a lot and they and they also do have it with the treated leather the treated vachetta leather so that is another option and i do see these bags in stock a lot like i said and I, this one right now is out of stock online but I'm sure if you have an essay or if you go into any Louis Vuitton store, they probably can get you one of these bags. I didn't have any problem ordering it online, so I'm not real sure on how hard or easy it is to get this bag or any of the other spring in the city bags, okay? So that is my video for today, tonight, whatever. Because you know, you guys always know I do my videos at night. It's just how I roll. And um, also, as soon as I get my insert from Samorga, I am going to do a comparison of the toiletry bags. And by that time, y'all may not even care to see because who knows when the darn thing's coming in. I literally ordered it forever ago. Because usually when I order a bag, I will go ahead and order an insert right then, which I didn't do with this one. But I need to do that. But anyways, yeah, I definitely ordered the insert as soon as I ordered the new toiletry pouch. But yeah, it just hasn't made it in yet. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your weekend and week coming up. And, I, and if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I'm super excited to get as many subscribers as I can. And I love chit chatting with you guys in the comment section. And you can also hit the bell and it will notify you every time I upload a video. So I am going to leave you guys with, I hope you all have a great morning, day, evening or night, whatever the time it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good night. And I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.